Africa, and many sons, and many sons had Mama Africa, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let me tell the truth. See, she, she reminds me of rainbows. Rainbows dancing in the rain with angels as the sun, as the sun teeter talks with the moon like it was the last day of June. Pop! Lights, lights so bright would put shame to halos, but where genocide resides, her hell ain't so low, her skin, her skin is red. Red represented in millions of gallons of blood poured in earth, the place of birth for mankind she's been colonized. By Europeans with common eyes, she's blinded with common eyes, she took her golden diamond, she's been colonized. Our minds have been squared and left in a circle of endlessness. So can you tell me, can you tell me why Mama Africa is still suffering? Tell me why my people are still dying from AIDS and hunger. See, they find a cure for your Johnson, but apparently it's magic. Man. But see, I'm wondering, I'm wondering why we're wasting tons of food by the hundreds. See, they took our spices, cocoa beans, ivory, and oil, then left us in turmoil. 1994, why did they turn on you? For years, for years of Hutus and Tutsis fought, playing a game of who's who and shooting Nazis. What's the difference between here and there? It's genocide. The Englishmen, the Englishmen did the math. They just multiplied the hoods, added guns and drugs, and said, let them divide. But see, some dude, some dude in Sufi's capital wanted his wrist to glisten. But another man in Sierra Leone screwed his face and lost his wrist because he didn't listen. See, there are child soldiers. Child soldiers with angels and demons on their shoulders, forced to kill their parents, apparently your parents. So who's really alive when you switch the eyes of the beholder? Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder, how does it feel being a mother? When you are shot and sent to your tomb by a child and conceived in your womb many moons ago. But the way those moons go, when your son pierced your soul and you can no longer walk in faith, but in faith, but in faith, but in faith, but in faith, we run. Dancing to our traditional songs and the dashikis, radiating our blackness, our white noses and nappy hair. Kings and queens as wise as Moses, yeah, we're happy here. See, I remember being in grade six. When I was in grade six, my principal said, Randell, you will never amount into anything. When I was in grade six, my principal said, Randell, you will never amount into anything. So I had to learn to climb before I learned to walk. See, she told me. She told me that making it to the top was impossible. But see, I was on a mission. Neighborhood government houses had me boxed in, chasing dreams like obstacles. And I was just trying to get ahead, but I had to keep it logical. But see, my neighborhood, people's hearts were as cold as popsicles that dripped like dreams because some teens can't take the heat of being cool. Some teens can't take the pressure of not fitting in, of being too thick or too thin. See, society has so much expectations. And I'm just here to give a voice to the voices. I remember being 17. I remember being 17. When I was 17, I was stabbed in my back. I was stabbed in my back twice by some brothers who just moving backwards in life, but that night I realized something. I realized that we suffer to inspire. 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 We suffer 